And if ever there were going to be a group of people who were going to be offended by Disney movies as a whole, let me just say, it should be all the stepmoms of the world. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> You're right. The evil step bomb trope. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fun fact. Did you know that the first Olympics <laughs> played in Athens? Were. Do you know? On natural. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All It was all men athletes and they were played completely nude. And because of that, women were not allowed to be spectators. They could not watch because the men were. Because they'd be scandalized. Naked. Yeah. Uh-huh. That is. <laughs> that's another fact for you. You get two well, extra they facts. Today. They weren't good at making uh, uh, tight fitting clothing that would, you know, hold right. all the junk in place. They're but like, can well, you let's imagine just let it doing fly. some of those sports naked? <laughs> For real, think about it. Javelin. Just take a second. Even running. <laughs> well, the worst in my mind is the wrestling. <laughs> the Greco-Roman wrestling. That would be awful. <laughs> Hurdles, yes. Hurdles. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm serious. The what? Race, the race where they have to pass the baton off. Oh, stop. Crap. No. No. I'm not letting you go there. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Grab Their the arm right had baton. to be fully extended to Grab pass the, the right baton. baton, guys. <laughs> Woo. There's not a whole lot I dislike, but That's there's good. also I mean, not, not a whole a lot. Thing. There's also not a whole lot that I love that other people... Um, don't like, I like Twilight. I really like the new Star Wars movies. Um, okay, this one I get shanked for sometimes. I didn't think The Last Jedi was bad. <laughs> I liked it. You know what? You and I are kind of in the same boat on that. So let's, let's imagine, let's put ourselves in a world. No, where, Matt, I don't want to. <laughs> where these Tesla bot robots are out and they're, you know, doing groceries and mowing lawns and doing all these kind of things and we're we're going to the grocery store and we're in line at the self-checkout behind a robot and in front of a robot there's robots on either side of us how are you feeling i'm terrified <laughs> i am absolutely terrified <laughs> i I quit. Like how do I walk away? How would we as a society get past <laughs> that feeling? You know how they do like banana chips? Mm, okay. Or apple chips? Okay. Uh-huh. It's like Wouldn't those like, still be fried? No. No. Are banana chips not fried? No. You put them in a dehydrator. Oh, okay. Not in a fryer. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I'm on. I'm on the trolley. I'm, Are I'm, you? I'm, I'm on the stick here. I get it. Taking up the caboose, I think. Cause you... <laughs> Why? Because I'm fat. <laughs> no, because if you were taking up the caboose and you were fat, then the whole thing would just go. Taking up the who? The whole caboose. <laughs> when you sit around the caboose, you sit around the caboose. That's what you Mo's are saying. the caboose. I love, I love it when Mo sets me up for that joke because oh she hates it. I do, I do hate it. I absolutely hate it. Oh gosh! All right, Brian, would you rather be in prison for fifty years or die? <laughs> what? That's what it says. <laughs> That is what it says. What? Yeah. Uh-huh. Look. Oh. oh. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. Anyway, that's what it says. Oh, my. Um. Oh. This got even darker than that. I know. Huh? Yeah. It's getting worse. I'll say 50 years in prison. No, no 56% way. Really? of people said die. That's what I would have said. 50 years in prison? Wow. I'm going to end up dying there anyway, I mean, so I might as well just die and go acclimate. meet Jesus. You'd acclimate and no. have some sort of life? No. Wow. I'm not going to live to be that old. I'm 36. 
But yeah, you got a mouth on you too, so people exactly. would kill you pretty quickly. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you see my Facebook post? So there's a whole book but, that goes along with it. And yeah. the premise of Elf on the Shelf is that like the first line of the book is, have you ever wondered how Santa could know if no, you've been yeah. good or bad as you grow? Yeah, I've, I've, read, the, I've read the story, and I, I mean, I get it, but it's still a doll. You know, you'd think that seeing this not moving... Oh no! They no. they convince themselves that they have seen the eyes move and the head move and the hands move. See, that's more creepy than Christmassy in my mind. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, and and that's. They freak out as, if they accidentally touch it. Or else. So yeah. Um, <laughs> but see, the way I'm picturing that is. <laughs> no, no. So the thing it is, it says in the book that you cannot touch the elf <laughs> because it could lose its magic. Well, okay, so um, the one that kind of stuck with me the most is actually from this year. And um, so my husband and I are both singers, and we have been our whole lives. And before kids, we were barber shoppers. So we would sing in a cappella barbershop, choirs, and what? quartets. You professionally. And, um, so professional. So that, hold on, hold on, one. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold up right there. Hold the you phone. You can't just drop the bomb that you were professional barbershop singers <laughs> Surprise. and just gloss over it Surprise, as said. prelude to a show. <laughs> Holy cow. When we do Valentine's Day, I have a better Valentine's story. We didn't see each other on Valentine's Day for years because we were doing seeing Valentine's and uh, I was part of a prize package every year for the radio station. It was so much fun. Anyway, so that's Valentine's. We're going to say that. She was but, so, so good. Hubby she and was I part of the prize singers, package. And so we... Can you be my new sister? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to say that I do at least like the idea of creator aliens more than, like, going to destroy you and eat you alive aliens. Well, maybe they're raising us like a farm to eat us. <laughs> That was disgusting. That was awful. That is the worst <laughs> visual I think I've ever. <laughs> There's your new Look, alien Aaron, movie. Jet, why that? Why? <laughs> There's your new alien movie. Human right farm. There. <laughs> Good grief. Hey, Man. maybe. Maybe, maybe this they set this whole evolution thing in motion, and eventually we're going to hit the level where we're really delicious. And that's why every now and then somebody does get abducted for real because they're taste testing. Did they, have they made it yet? <laughs> Are they ripe yet? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that, wow. 